at an early age, my parents took me on a flight which stayed with me for the rest of my life. When I look around us now and see the challenges that we've got in climate change, the idea that not flying is the best thing we can do for our carbon footprint, and that's not good enough. We have to solve that problem, and that's what we're working on here. Our goal at Hybrid Air Vehicles is to create an aircraft that plays a substantial part in the reduction of CO2 for aviation going forwards. We're trying to minimise greenhouse gases, we're trying to minimise the carbon, and the technology based around lighter than air allows you to do that. It started off with a defence application, and now you find us with Airlander 10 designed for defence surveillance, but also for passenger mobility, regional transport and logistics. One thing's the same about every aeroplane that you see flying around you today. It's got to burn energy to lift its own weight. Airlander doesn't have to do that. A lot of its own weight is lifted by buoyancy. The helium is keeping us up, so we only need propulsive power to push us along. So our fuel burn is typically a quarter that of a conventional aeroplane. The biggest single step away from the sort of airships of the old days is we've made this product hybrid. That's one of the big driving benefits. Airlander uses hybrid technology to take us in the direction of a 75% saving on carbon production compared to a conventional fixed wing aeroplane. Like every business, the pandemic caused us a lot of disturbance. And what the Innovate UK COVID continuity grant allowed us to do was maintain our focus on a critically important development for Airlander. That's the electric motors that will be on Airlander 10. In that program, we're working with Collins Aerospace and the University of Nottingham to develop, build and test the first electric motors for a vehicle of this class. The electric propulsion system, it's a very key part to our mobility offering. It has the ability to save millions upon millions of tonnes of aviation CO2 and play its part in aviation duty to drive down emissions. We're here to rethink the skies. We're doing that by putting an aircraft into flight. It's different from any aircraft we have in flight today. And it shows us that when we think about our requirements and our needs for the future, we can design different solutions that make a huge difference in the emissions that we create in aviation.